Hi, it's time for December favorites. Unbelievable, but here we are. We made it through the year. Um, looking forward to 2020. All sorts of good things happening and a lot of plans that I have going on. So anyway, we'll get to that another time. Right now, let's talk about the things that I was loving all December. And we have a giveaway, of course, because I was doing them every single month in the year of 2019. So anyway, let's get to it. Let's talk favorites. The first thing before I absolutely forget, because I know I will, these little diamond studs. Love them. I wanted a tiny, tiny little diamond. I wanted around a fifth of a carat. Um, itty bitty ones, I just wanted a tiny sparkle that I wear kind of all the time, unless I want to change them out into an earring earring. So, um, cause I, I work out a lot, I go to Pilates, I go to yoga, I, I do strength training, I do all sorts of things. I just want a little something something there. I love that tiny little sparkle. So I was searching everywhere for a good set of diamonds that are ethically sourced and all that good stuff. I needed 14 karat gold or platinum. I have weird allergies and I can't put anything else in my ears. Um, some white gold I can, but generally speaking, those are, the, those are the choices that I have only. So I found these from a company I already know that I love, and they were inexpensive for diamond earrings. I love them. I absolutely love them. They're from the, the jewelry. This is the box they came in. I'm so glad I thought to check there for these earrings. I love them. Let's see if you can see them at all. They just have a tiny little sparkle to them. I love them. I just, I really, really love them. They're so comfortable. I normally cannot sleep in earrings, but I sleep in these all the time and I have no problem. Can't say enough. Check them out. Love them. And as per usual, I have to remind you that all things will be linked below and I am not sponsored in any kind of way or affiliated with any of these products. So there you go. Um, all right, another thing that I am absolutely loving is this Unbound Curler. I did a whole video on it. I will try to remember to link it down below in case you didn't see that one. But this is an automatic hair curler and it is the easiest thing. I've tried all sorts of those different kinds, you know, that suck your hair up and, you know, that releases or whatever. I've been able to use them, but they haven't been comfortable enough for me to just kind of take to easily. And they didn't keep my hair curled. This thing curls like crazy and keeps it curled. Like three days later, I still have some wave in my hair. It's kind of crazy, to be honest. I brush it out and everything. I mean, unbelievable. So if you really want some curl that lasts, this, this is your guy. Um, just on clean hair, you, I've even done it on kind of dirty hair, you know what I mean? Not dirty, but you know what I'm saying? I don't get oily, so that's a good thing. But like two, three days later, if I want to add a little extra curl, I can easily just do that. I should even try it, but anyway. Uh, <laughs> this is fantastic. It's simple. Um, watch my video for the demonstration, but basically you're just taking like a one inch thing of hair, you just slide it right in that slot, push the button, it sucks it in and curls it. And then you release. I've had no problems with anything getting caught, tangled. It releases easily. Um, yeah, can't say enough. And the curl lasts. That's the most exciting thing about it. To be honest for me, the curl actually lasts. And it takes seven minutes for me to curl my entire head of hair. So and I've got some hair. So anyway, there's that. Love it. And I definitely wanted to tell you that that is a huge favorite of mine this month. And also in that video that I was talking about this, I mentioned that it charges via a USB. And I have a USB plug-in thing right next to my bed in my bedroom, but I don't have one in my bathroom. And I found this and I told you I was going to order it and I did, and I absolutely love it. I didn't want to bring the actual device up here because then I'd have to unplug my, um, you know, my Alexa app thing, you know, dot, and I'd have to unplug my whole weather station and then I have to put that all back in and the time and the, oh my gosh, I didn't want to go through that. Love you and all, but no, I didn't want to do that. So <laughs> I just brought the box, but I'll show you a picture of where it is. Um, I'm loving it. It's perfect. It has the USB, it has three USB dealies and six regular plug-in things, dealies and things. It does come with this little shelfy thing, as you can see, this shelf that can go on top. Now, all of my plug-in things on my house, in my house are sideways. I think they were like that in my last house, too. I've never understood why they do it that way, but yeah, they were sideways. So that shelf thing does not work for me, but it, it's just, it pops, you know, you can, it comes not even attached to the thing. You have to attach it. So if you don't want that, no problem, or if you have to go sideways with it. Um, also, what I really liked about it, too, I haven't really needed this option. I've tested it first, but it has a long nail that goes right down in the middle into that 
in all outlets there's a nail in there that you can unscrew um, and then if you put this nail in there once this is on your outlet thing when you're pulling out really hard to pull out devices it won't pull the whole thing out of the wall that's the whole purpose behind that and just for stability I haven't had to use that yet but it's nice that it comes with so Anyway, can't say enough about this. I can charge my toothbrush, which is also USB chargeable, and my hair curler, and whatever else I might need that comes with the USB charging thing. So, very happy to have that, loving it. Another item I think I've talked about before. I've used it every single day this entire month of December. I love it. Okay, it's the Argan Oil, the Reserve, the Healthy Skin um, Concentrate by Josie Moran. This stuff is amazing. I've used her regular oil for a long, long time. Love it. The reserve is just, there's a little something special to it. They actually use other parts of the tree, not just the oil of the argon nut. And oh my gosh, it's fantastic. So they have them numbered and there's a whole lot of them, whatever. Um, so I will link this down below, see if there's any left, because it's kind of a one bunch per year comes out of their harvest and once that's gone it's gone so um i'll see if they still have it if not i do highly recommend their regular argon oil i will try to remember to link that one down below but it's just divine i've been using it on my face what i do is i just take a couple drops you know it's like this so i don't even i don't even squeeze anything it just drops off into my hand literally that's it just kind of warm it up in my hands and i press into my face and I don't want to do it over my makeup. And then I just kind of lightly dab it, you know, here, there, and the next place. I definitely do under my eyes. Any place that's dry, it's amazing. And then whatever's left, I put on my cuticles. Oh, gosh, morning and night. And my cuticles have never been this good. I have really, really dry, terrible cuticles, generally speaking. I just really do. And my cuticles have never been better. I don't know if you can see them. They are so, so good. Oh my gosh, so this oil, can't say enough. I You can put it everywhere, all over your body. You can like smooth it through your hair for flyaways. You can tap it on any like dry, patchy spark parts of your face, whatever. I love it, and my skin feels, in the mornings I've noticed my skin feels so much softer. I mean, it's like so smooth, so it's baby's butt soft. <laughs> It really is and um, it does I read this and I think it's strange I don't know how this oil does it but it does tend to lighten pigmentation too and that has happened with me too especially along here so very happy with that want to share that with you for sure okay this is a bit of a basic thing I get that and many people are like I would never wear that oh my gosh I get that too however I don't care <laughs> I love my Uggs I love them and I've always had the classic short, and this is the classic mini. So they're the short ones. There's the knee, the, the short, and the mini. The mini just barely comes up your ankle a tiny, tiny bit. So it looks a little less, you know, middle school, 1990s, um, than it does, you know, than that the other ones do look a little bit. Um, they're just perfect. I live right outside Chicago. It gets cold in the winter. You want your feet to be comfy and warm. Um, I love this color. This one's called antelope, but they come in so many different colors. I also have black. They easily pull on, stick your finger in the loop and pull up, you know, I mean, they pull off so easily. There's, these are the genuine shearling ones. Um, oh my gosh, I can't even tell you. They're just amazing. I just want to like crawl in there and sleep. So I highly, I just got a new pair of this and black and I highly recommend these. Love them. They wear for years and years and years. They're just comfy. If you're not worried about how you're, you know, if you're just worried about comfort and going where you need to go, keeping your feet warm and dry, those are really truly the best for that. So there. And while we're talking about things that you've heard of way too many times, let me throw in really, really fast a couple more things, a couple more times of these items that I love and I've talked about for years. This is my Barefoot Dreams beanie. I have worn the out of this thing. I love it. It's just so warm and comfy. I'd throw it on real quick now, but I just, yeah, you know, then I have like, anyway, it's just a snuggly, snuggly thing. I love it. Anytime you're just curled up and snuggled up anywhere, or you're a little bit chilly, put that on. Oh gosh, it's wonderful. This is a cardigan. I have so many of their cardigans and I love them and I don't really care if it's over. You know what I mean? It's like, to me, these are the softest, most wonderful things. 
I finally got a, got one in black. I had not had one in black before. I had gray and blue and you know, all sorts of things. But I got this one in black and it's the Cozy Chic Light. What I love about it, it does have the hood, but it's usually hoods kind of bother me. This one does not. I really, really like this one. It's a little bit longer. It's not that kind of scoopy circle one. Um, and it has pockets. You can't beat the pockets. Oh my gosh, it has this little sort of a slit thing in there. Okay, so I've been living in this. Absolutely love it. This is one that I think can only be purchased at one place right now. I don't know if it's an exclusive or not, but I like again, I will link it all down below. It comes in many colors. I adore it. Now I am basically in most clothing and so forth a basically a size medium. I wear a medium on top for most, you know, intents and purposes for it to be, you know, a little bit loose or whatever. And the jeans I'm wearing are size eight today. So that's the size I am, and I'm five five. In this one, I got the large. And the other look styles, the large goes too big around me or whatever, but this one seems to fit perfectly that way. It just kind of, it, it lays where it's kind of a little bit open. It doesn't have any kind of closure. And I like that. It's like open about this much in the middle. So just keep that in mind for sizing. But I love that one. I can't stop talking about it. Sorry. And then my Barefoot Dreams rug, rug, you know, what is it? It's blanket. I love it. I talk about it all the time. I cannot stop loving it. So I'm not going to even try. There. Their favorites, that's all there is to it, keeping it real. Now, when I do curl up with all of that, when I go to Starbucks, my go-to drink is a hot grande white chocolate mocha, but only with one pump of flavoring only. Normally it has four pumps and I just, it's too sweet for me. So I like the one pump of flavoring of the white chocolate mocha, no whip. Okay, so that's my order. And that's what I get all the time, that's what I love. Well, I was, when I was at, um, I think I was at Target, ours has a grocery section. Um, do all of them have a grocery section now? I think they might, they didn't used to. Anyway, um, I got, I found this, and it was a Starbucks white chocolate creamer inspired by the white chocolate mocha. Yeah. So, now I make my coffee, I can just pour in the amount I want, which equals about the one pump, you know, that I get, and I have that same flavor, and it's so wonderful, and I get this at home, and my daughter loves the iced white mocha, and we can easily make that with this too. So, very happy that they have these. They have a few other flavors. I can't remember what they are. I was just so excited about this one, but when this is gone, I might try another flavor. Um, yeah, very happy about this. Check for this in your grocery store or whatever, but I did find mine at Target. I can't stop using this. I have several of the colors, but this is my favorite. It's the Marc Jacobs Gloss Stick. And this is in Sugar Sugar. Now this goes over top of whatever um, lipstick I'm wearing. It gives just a little extra slip, and, you know, and a, and a bit of a shine, just enough, and I love it. So it can be worn perfectly well and lovely on its own, of course. Um, it's just very lightly colored, but it just gives a beautiful sheen to the lips. Love it, but this works so well over top of things. And the two lipsticks that I have especially been loving this last month are two by Laura Geller. I have not tried Laura Geller lipstick things in, uh, gosh, forever. And I saw these and I th thought these colors looked beautiful. And today I am wearing the chocolate raspberry and I'm wearing it lightly on my lips. So that, this is the chocolate raspberry. I love it, it's got a, I like it of a, you know, it's got that lovely little magnetic, satisfying closure, I love that. Um, and it's called chocolate raspberry. These are made in Italy, they're baked pigments, um, but this is chocolate raspberry. So it just has a, a brownish undertone, but you've got your raspberry-like, you know, flavoring. It's not flavored. Colorings. I, know, I love this one, it's beautiful. I think that's a very pretty color. It's pinky with a brown, but not too pink, not bubblegummy at all, like a deeper, darker. I really like this color so, so much. And then again, if I put this on top, just adds an extra layer of shine. But with these, you really don't need it. They're, they have a lot of slip to them and they do last, which I really, really like. And the other one, I don't know what inspired me on this next one either. I just kind of wanted a plain nude that wasn't too nude, if that makes any sense. I don't want dead lips, but I didn't, I can't do too pink either. Ugh. So I found this, it's called Bowery Ballerina, is this one, this color. And I just thought it was a really pretty shade. It's very much of a, a nude with a little bit of a pink undertone, and I love it. 
So you see, it's not too pink, but you look alive. It's just a nude with a bit of pink. I absolutely love it. So this is the sheen it has without anything on top. And you add this. And it adds just a touch more. And it just, I feel so good. I love it. So this color, the Bowery Ballerina and the Chocolate Raspberry, these two I have been using on repeat pretty much with and without this all month. Also, I have tried a new concealer that I'm really, really liking. Okay, it's the Wander Beauty. I've been wanting to try Wander Beauty forever. And this is the one item that I thought, that's the one I wanna try. So I got the Wander Beauty, it's the Dualist Matte and Illuminating Concealer. And what I really appreciate about this, well, not, uh, it says anti-aging on it too, which I like, <laughs> um, is that it's got a matte stick on one end, and it's creamy enough, it's blended, but you know, it doesn't tug, which I really like, and it covers. I have a lot of dark circles and this stuff really, really covers. But you know, when you're older and you have a little bit of texture down there, um, you don't really want you know, it to look dry and like a, my husband calls it a dry lake bed. Yeah, great, huh? So I thought this maybe this illuminator would help. So the illuminator down here on the other end is a liquid with like a doe foot applicator. And it's not so luminous that you're gonna like look shiny. So don't think of it as a highlighter. It just adds a little bit of luminosity. And how what they suggest you do is to put it in like a V under you know the whole eye type of thing, just to add light there. I never go all out like that. And I just kind of just dab a little tiny bit and then blend it in with my finger. And I kind of go down here too, a little bit with whatever tiny bit I dab there. And it just adds enough life to, you know, on top of what you put there to just really, really, let me see what I'm seeing here, to really, really help it look less dry lake bed. You know, you don't, it just looks less of the dry lake bed kind of a look. So I'm really enjoying this. I do feel like the coverage is beautiful. It covers very well and I really use the tiniest bit. Um, I mean, I will have to do a get ready with me and I'll show you how much I use. I don't want to mess with this at the moment but anyway there's that speaking of Laura Geller when I was online and looking at these I saw this set and I saw this and bought this probably mid November started using it toward the end of November and I've used it I think pretty much every day this month love it and this is the giveaway you have a brand new one that I will be sending to you it is an eyeshadow set it's called the party in a palette full face palette collection and I just think this is the most wonderful thing. Um, you have three eye and cheek palettes in here, okay? So what you're dealing with is this box of three separate palettes. They're very good size. They, they pack a lot of punch in what they offer, um, and they're very travel friendly, which I adore. So you've got your three, this is how it's normally packaged. And one of them I'm wearing today, <laughs> I've been seriously wearing them constantly. And they have it, in a way, it's definitely holiday themed. I get that, but if that doesn't bother you to, you know, wear in April something that says New Year's Bash, then you know, don't worry about it. I certainly am not going to worry about it. Um, but the one I think I've worn the most is Family Celebration, and then we have Holiday Party, and then we have New Year's Bash. So let me show you the differences. Family Celebration. Oh, and they come with a mirror. They have a nice, good size mirror. But see how compact they are. You know, very, very travel friendly. Nice, good mirror. Okay, so what you have in here are six eyeshadows that all coordinate and go well together. You can do them lightly. You can um, do them more uh, dark, you know, more of a whatever kind of a look you want with these colors. And then you also have a blush and a highlight. So this is the color for family celebration color scheme. And these are beautiful. Now, I really, really enjoy these shadows. They are pigmented enough that you don't have a problem trying to, you know, get them to show up. That is not a problem at all, but they're not so pigmented that you have to be afraid of them. Do you know what I mean? Some of them are just like, you, you're like terrified to dip your brush because you just want a little dark here. You know what I mean? These aren't like that, but they are definitely, they pack definitely enough punch that, you know, there's no problem there. Um, enjoy those so, so much. And this blush color and highlight combination, gorgeous, just gorgeous, just a nice little peachy color. 
and you find a clean finger and this highlight is light but beautiful so really really enjoying those also and it just really adds a fresh I don't know it's just a really pretty fresh look so I'm really liking that this is the one I've been reaching for the most and then I have been using New Year's Bash and when you see it you'll be surprised because this isn't normally my jam but I have been wearing more grays and more cool tones on my eyes and so forth lately because especially since I'm kind of sort of tired of those all those warm you know palettes that we that have been out lately but this is called New Year's Bash and here is what it looks like now those purples look a little terrifying but they're not um, like I say these colors do um, pack enough punch if you want them to but you can easily shear them out okay so just for like an accent color if that's what you're wanting to do so these colors are gorgeous you always have a matte up here that I use on the brow bone on each of these sets you have several different glittery tones and the other mattes for um, the crease which is perfect because that's exactly what I do I want a matte medium color in the crease and you have a dark color here to darken everything up now this I've noticed works very well as a liner today the only liner I have on is a liner from the um, holiday party palette I'll show you in a minute I just spray my brush with a little bit of Mac fix plus or any setting type spray thing that you have and or just wet it even with water and I just dip it in there and it really makes a very long-lasting really good eyeliner that matches you know kind of goes with the whole scheme so you can't go wrong I've even used this color at, on my eyes perfect and you can even put the highlighter on the brow bone all this works this is a beautiful blush color I love this it's more of a mauve kind of a tone but very light and then this this highlight is beautiful also and again it's not terrifying it just gives a little bit of a sheen you know a good pretty 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 sheen color so loving this one this new year's bash then the one that i have on today let me get closer so you can actually see it is the holiday party now this one is more of your browns okay and at first this was the this was the last one i tried because i wasn't real excited about it i thought oh, i don't know about this one i'm really enjoying it the whole thing head to toe now like i say, i have the whole thing on today and i didn't add anything extra any extra colors or whatever in so as usual i put this in the brow bone area and in here i put the, this lighter shimmer kind of all over and then what i did was i added um what did i do was it celebrate or was it oh what fun okay i put no i put this one in the crease just you know a little a high crease then i added this tone here and it's called plum pudding and the rest of it has very much of a golden sort of a tone to it the whole deal but this one has a bit of a brownish plum and it just adds enough plum with that gold it looks gorgeous and i lined with this also i just put some fix plus on my brush and i lined with that and i added some of these shimmery tones for the coppery bits right there and it was so much fun to play with all these are so much fun to play with now this blush i was wondering about this because it's called roasted chestnuts and it's a little dark for me which i think it's great that they have an option that's darker which is so 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 wonderful and i also worried about the highlight because that's also kind of dark for me both beautiful i'm wearing them both today so yeah just get a little bit of sheen there and that just adds a little bit of a, a roasted chestnut look on the on the cheeks so I cannot say enough about these I have literally been using them all month I've worn them over and over again and I'm so happy with them so happy so I wanted to make sure that you guys had a chance to try this too I will link it down below it's not expensive and there have been some sales I think Laura Geller site might even be having 20% off right now so that's good too but you'll be getting your very own set if you fill out the information i will list the link for the giveaway down below i will be choosing the winner one week from today and that person will be notified via email and then i'll have this sent right out to you all the instructions and things are right down there so look down below the video for all the links of everything i showed and for the link to try for this and hopefully you'll be the winner and it's so much fun to play with it's like getting a new box of crayons you know you just kind of get to play and i don't do a lot of color on my face so this is right up my alley to have a basic you know a basic everyday kind of a look that you can sort of play with a little bit more and add a little bit of shimmer here and there or whatever but it still ends up not being 
you know. So that's what I love about it. I think that's everything. Thank you so, so much for joining me. Thank you for being with me on all my monthly favorites this year. I hope you've been enjoying the giveaways every month. Um, it's been a lot of fun for me. I can't tell you how much I enjoy it. So anyway, thanks so much. I will see you again in January. Bye-bye. <laughs>